In this video I'll be showing you how to make animated GIFs. On the internet they're commonly used to take a part of a movie or a video and have it on repeat but they're actually a type of image format with a bunch of layers and these layers are played sequentially to represent the frames of the video but since it's an image format you don't actually get sound. You can create these in Photoshop or something like GIMP but that's a bit more advanced and they often need you to download the video first. This free program called GIFing Tool GIFingTool.com, I'll also put it in the description, is a free program which allows you to take anything you can see on the screen and turn it into a GIF. So you click download and it gets you to the bottom of the page where you can click download now and buy later. And you just save it. And it's a zip folder so you have to extract it. But once it's extracted you just double click on it and it runs. You don't actually have to install the program. It runs from these little folders here. There's a few options you might want to mess around with. I would make sure to change the frame rate all the way up to 30 because it'll make your GIF smoother. Say you wanted to create a GIF for this Google home page. You click new and you drag your cursor to select the area you want and you let go and if this is the first time you've installed the program this little warning will pop up to remind you to keep it short because obviously the less you record the less frames you have and the smaller the file. Then you press the escape key to stop and when you press the escape this editor window pops up. If you're recording a video I recommend you put it in full screen mode because then you can record a bigger image to start with. You can always crop it down later and there's a slight delay between when you let go of the cursor and when it actually starts recording so just wait a second before you start playing the video. In this editing window you can press play to have it loop and show you what you've recorded and you can go frame by frame with these. You can skip to the end or the beginning and you drag these green heads to the selection area. You have cut, copy, and paste up here so you could duplicate parts of the frame and here is reverse so you could copy it and have it play backwards and then of course delete. For me I'm just going to drag it to have a simple repeat. And you may notice that sometimes it plays in a slower speed comparing this thing on the left to the actual image we recorded on the right. It seems to be playing a bit slower but this is just for editing and it will go back to the normal speed once you save the GIF. And you have a few options on the rest. You could record a new area and you could record the last area. Here you could upload it to various sites. You can save the GIF to your computer. You could add text or a caption to your image. We have a few effects here for like color correcting. You could import another GIF to edit. Here you can crop the image smaller and this Cinemagraph is kind of an airbrush tool. When you want to save it, I recommend the highest quality. Obviously it's going to be a bigger file, but it's going to be a better image at the end. Frame rate, leave it where it is. And over here is the size. This is the recording dimensions. See it changed the width down to 300, which is a setting you can change. If you want the original size that you recorded it, click here. So you just click save, give it a name, and it will process and export each frame individually. When it's finished it will start playing in the GIF editor and you notice it is back to the normal speed that we recorded it at. If you want to test and make sure it actually works you can drag it from where you saved it into an internet browser because that's the best way that I've found to view GIFs. And here it's looping. One more thing to note is if you want to change the speed of which it's playing, take this input frame rate. It recorded at around 20 frames per second. If we save it at 10, it will actually play double the speed. And if we record it at double the input frame rate, say 40, it would play half as fast. So it appear as if it was in slow motion. And that's just a bit of an overview of this program GIFing tool and how you can make free GIFs. 